So this is our March mug rug, and we've already warped up 50 warp threads, and we've done four weft passes. So now it's time to insert our pickup stick. So to do this, we're going to go over one, under four, over four, under four, over, under, over, under, until we get to the end and we've got one left and we'll go over that single one. Then we're going to turn our pickup stick on its end. And now if we were to just go straight through, we would be missing this end thread down here. So we are going to go under that one manually, then go through the shed. That way we have wrapped this end thread and it will hold it in place. And then on this one, we're just going to kind of gently bring it down on the other side. We're not going to move the pickup stick and we're going to go under this end one again to do the same thing because we want to wrap this end piece. So we'll go under that one and back through the shed. And then just kind of lay it right on top of that one, nice and even. And we'll repeat this again. Wrapping that end piece. And again, wrapping the end piece on the other side. And now we'll take the pickup stick and just kind of gently pull those forward. And now is when you want to check to see if you've got the right tension. And as you can see, I've got some excess over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this back up a little bit. And I'm just going to snug things up just a bit so that I have a nice, even edge. Okay, then we'll remove the pickup stick, place our heddle in the up position, and you'll know that you've got the right one when you, you can, if you check your shed, you'll see that it's going to hold it in place. If you were to go down here, you're going to have all these loose threads. So um, that's just a good check so that you know whether you want your heddle in the up or the lower position for this particular move. So we're going to go up for our first one, pass it through just as a normal pass. This will bring things down, and to me, this just locks it up real nice. Put your heddle back into neutral. And now on this next one, instead of going over first, we're going to go under this first thread. And then over, under, over, under. And we will end up with an extra one on the top. Then again, we'll flip the stick shut the pickup stick straight up and on this one it's actually going to automatically wrap this end piece so we can just go ahead and place our shuttle through bring our yarn over but now if we were to go right back of course we're not going to catch this end one so we'll want to go over the end one and then through so that we have again wrapped this end piece. And now on this side now we will have to go again over the top otherwise we're not going to catch it. So we'll do the same thing here where we're just going to make four passes catching that end warp thread And then again, I'm going to use my stick shuttle just to push it forward and then remove it. 
and we place our handle in the lower position. And do a single pass. Now, I didn't catch this end piece. If I were to do this, I will have missed these last two. So, I need to go back. And I need to wrap this end thread. Um, we'll have to check that all the way through as you weave to make certain that you're catching the ends on either side. And we'll just go over that end one and then under the rest of the shed. and then bring it forward. And then we'll just simply repeat. When you get to the end, you'll do another four rows of plain weave just to give you a nice place to do your, your finishing hem. And that's it.